Hey GED students, let's take a look at the following example. It says, translate the phrase, the distance on a number line between 4.5 and 2.1 into an arithmetic expression. First of all, what are they asking me to do or to find? They are asking me guys to translate. We're moving from language to language. And what kind of language do, are we given? Well, we're given a phrase, the distance on a number line between 4.5 and 2.1. We're in English right now. But look, they tell me what they want me to translate it into. They'd like to translate it me, they'd like me to translate it into an arithmetic expression. Don't get caught up in the language here, guys. An expression is just basically a mix of numbers and operations, those symbols that we use to tell us what to do with the numbers. So they're just asking me to take it from words to the symbols that we use in math. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at these words that they gave us. We are doing the distance on a number line between 4.5 and 2.1. And hopefully by now, you're aware that distance is a synonym with another mathematical term, difference. Whether you're saying distance or difference, the way to find that is to subtract. However, there's one little special thing you need to understand about difference or distance. You know, in life, sometimes when we subtract, we get positive numbers and sometimes we get negative numbers. For example, if I only had $5 in my bank account and I subtracted, I spent 20, I'd be in trouble. I'd be negative. However, with both distance and difference, if I specifically use that word, the answer can't be negative. It can't be negative. Neither distance nor difference is ever negative. And so you have to rig the odds. You have to write this expression so that you will get a positive answer. And one simple, easy way to do that is just to, when you subtract, make sure the bigger number comes first. So take a look at our two numbers. 4.5 and 2.1. Which one's larger? 4.5 is. And which one's smaller? 2.1 is. And that's probably the easiest way to write this expression. Now, it's not the only way. There's another way to make sure your answer is always positive. Let's say that again. There's another way to make sure your answer is always positive. It really doesn't matter what order you subtract in, whether you do big minus small or small minus big, if you use the operation that makes everything positive. And I don't usually teach this to my elementary school students, but I do teach it to my GED students because this operation comes up on the GED. It's known as absolute value. And basically what it says is whatever answer you find, make it positive. So I'll just surround my little expression there with these straight up and down bars that says do this math and then make your answer positive. And then I could do it here as well. Do this math and then make your answer positive. Okay, so any of these three would be acceptable answers, but this is probably the easiest one to look at. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.